Hey everyone, welcome back. Over the next few episodes, we'll be turning this blank corner into this beautifully designed space. In the previous two episodes, we've covered how to build the benches and cushions as well as the shiplap walls. And on today's episode, we'll cover how to build those floating shelves. So stay tuned. The first step is deciding on where to put the floating shelves. This was the first option. And then I tried it with the upper shelf a little bit higher. And this was the second option. And I ended up going with option number one. I wanted the shelves perfectly centered over the beverage center, so I used my level and some tape to mark out the centers of where the shelves need to go. And now it's time to start building those shelves. I start by building the inner structure of the two floating shelves, uh, which is done by basically building a ladder with one of the sides not attached. And you're definitely going to want to use wood glue for this, uh, as it definitely helps create a stronger structure. And here I'm putting on kind of that first rung of the ladder. And now here's the material we'll be using for the top and bottom of the exterior of the floating shelves. To create this part, you're basically building a box with the back side not attached, and I'm using miters in the corners and some 1x3 pine boards to connect those top and bottom pieces, as you can see. I then gave both boards a nice coat of stain, and I believe this is early American. Now it's time to install that inner structure, that ladder without one side, onto the wall. Here I used some tape to mark out where my studs were, as well as the center points of the shelves. And you can use a level in both directions to make sure it's level to the wall, as well as level to the ground. And while I install the second one, if you're enjoying this content, I recommend checking out our TikTok and Instagram as we have a lot more DIY content over there as well. After the stain had fully cured, I put on three coats of polyurethane, sanding in between each. Then it was finally time for installation. I then checked one more time to make sure the shelves were perfectly centered. After I was happy with that, I added some screws to the top of the upper shelf and the underside of the lower shelf so that they wouldn't be seen by anyone walking by. And with that, this project is complete. Now we just have to add some decor, and what a nice space. Really happy with the way this series turned out. And if you want to see more DIY content, please subscribe, and also check out our other social media platforms. And as always, thanks for watching, and happy building. See you next time.